Hello. I don't feel well. Why is that? Why do you not feel well? I think I've got a bug. <laughs> Kidding, I went out last night and hung out with loads of drag queens. Wait till I show you this. Do you know who that is? Me and Detox. Today it is the 4th of June. It's my birthday month. So my granny's coming up and we're gonna go to Silver Birch. I've not been in ages. I'm gonna go to Silver Birch. We're gonna have lunch. I'm going with Philip in mind that I might buy something. I'm going to eat whatever I want. Mac and cheese. <laughs> Does anyone else send the most ugly photos to their friends? Wow. Yesterday it was really, really good. We went to see Work the World. You better work. Jack, say it. Work. No. No, say you better work. Take a move. Come on. Not you, drugs. I drove on. I'll see you when we come back, son. I obviously can't say it. <laughs> I've got a. Go away! I've got an absolute reprobate here. Why did you drink so much? Because it was fun. Did you mean to, or did it just, uh, did it just it happen? Did it escalate? It just happened. You it just happened. It just happened. Escalation. Look at my new tree. I love it. Hello, Dropper. Good morning. Oh. I also got this ivy. How amazing is that? Oh girl, your hair's so long. Your hair's so long and pretty. I love it. And through here, look how cool that is. My little pot. And then this is like my new succulent. And that's what my granny bought me for my birthday. Because it's my birthday this month. But me and Jack are actually going to be away on my birthday. We're going to be in the Hamptons. Because that's where we summer now. That's a lie. We do not summer in the Hamptons. This year we are. Because we got invited and I'm so excited. Guess where we're going today, Dropa? We're going to the beach. We're going to the beach. <laughs> He's cheeky today. I feel way better today. I think, I think I'm getting old. I can't do it anymore. I was so ill yesterday with a hangover. Today I feel much better. It's still not 100% to be honest, but I've been working all morning. Uh, Jack's on the phone upstairs, I think. I don't know what he's doing. But uh, after he's done, we're going to go to the beach. Take Robert to the beach. And yeah, yesterday was great. We just went to Silver Birch. Silver Birch is my favourite garden centre in the world. In case you're ever in Scotland slash the Clyde Valley, you need to go. <sighs> you need to go now. And other than that, another week at home. Jack's getting his belly tattooed tomorrow. Oh! That was like George of the Jungle. That wasn't a particular tune, it was just dashboard <laughs> drumming for the fun of it. We just got to air, town centre. Yep, look at that dog. Are you ready to go to the beach, Drogba? I wonder if he's going to dig for treasure too. You look so perfect, Drog, so I swear you're my favourite. And we get quite a lot of questions about his halty. So the thing that you see over his nose from Because you took the camera off him. <laughs> the thing that you see over his nose is not a muzzler or anything like that. It's called a halty and it's really good if you've got a big strong dog. It helps you train them walking. So he walks at him working a gentle pace. Yeah, it stops him <laughs> pulling with like all the might of his back. Yeah. as well. Taking dog bit to Air Beach today. Very nice day, 22, 23 degrees or thereabouts. Uh, so, man. so we thought we'd go to the beach. I like updating mm. the weather. Just look, you can go to the beach. Blue mile wind from the west, and you can hear, you can see that there's cloud formations. Very good, very good. <laughs> right, okay, you can have some camera time. He just likes the camera being on him for some reason. <laughs> it must be therapeutic. We've been stuck at these lights for about 10 minutes. There is a massive. There's planet. beeping going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, now she thinks that you're my daughter. Oh no! <laughs> oh. Look, he's just going, oh my god, he's just going into red light. Ah! What if we get a ticket? We won't get a ticket, it's a broken light. If everyone's getting a ticket, they've got like, I'd say there's like maybe 50 cars backlog behind us. Yeah. So that's like 50 tickets in the same instance. No chance. Okay. Give me a chance to make it right. 
Now we've gone for the movies, you know. Okay, it's just wow, big friends. Wow, looks good. Yeah. It smells good too. Friends? Yeah. Oh, oh that right. smells amazing. I should have got that. Is it chicken? Mm. Yeah. Oh man, steamed up the lens. <laughs> so, the restaurant we love in East Kilbride Village, we found out do deliveries. What, is it good? Yes. Oh, she from East Kilbride do deliveries, so, well, well I think do deliveries, yeah, they do deliveries. But we ordered over the phone and I went and picked it up and mm. look at it. Oh my god, it looks amazing. And it comes bundled with little soy sauces, <laughs> little packets of wasabi. Awesome. This morning. I slept in. I was meant to be at Mez Art, my hair salon, at nine. I woke up Jack's alarm at nine. So I rushed there. Jack still managed to fit me in because he's the best. We've just done a blow dry and a little toner. So I'm feeling fab. Watching Gossip Girl, obviously. And my plan is I'm going to eat my lunch and then I'm going to film. Jack's will be getting his tummy tattooed. And yeah, we really need to tidy today. Me and Cara just saw someone <laughs> what? I snog in the face Sneak. of someone else outside bloody Hanoi bike shop. Oh, being I've seen it Cara, I feel like I've been late all day today and you know it just pure sets you up. I feel like rushed. And now we're gonna go and die at Cycle Box. I'm not well. Yesterday I started feeling that burning at the back of my nose and I was like, right, there's a chance I might get sick. But I went to PT anyway. It was really hard. I didn't manage to do that much. Got home, watched Love Island, went to bed and woke up and I feel terrible. Ugh. I've medicated. I have a huge thing of coffee. Cause. Highlight of my week. Me, Charlotte and her mum are driving up to Perth to get material for new curtains. I have my swatch in my bag so i know what color i want to get and we're gonna get material and then cara's mum and cara and charlotte you know cara and charlotte cara and charlotte's mum uh, she's gonna make me curtains because she's the best and that's what's happening today and then when i get home i'm not gonna do anything i might potter around my makeup room remember i told you we had to clean it still not cleaned it I managed to like work and stuff but oh i just feel like i need a week of no makeup pajamas and cleaning do you ever want that? Sometimes I remember when I worked like full time, my two days off. Sometimes I would just spend them in my pajamas and clean the house, and I feel so much better. But I've not had a chance to do that in so long. So I feel like that's maybe what I'm gonna do today and tomorrow. I just have lunch, um, so I can do it tomorrow as well. But I just feel like like a wee dead person that's been put in a microwave and brought back to life with microwaves. Oh. You know it still hurts a little bit. But not that much. How do you plant a rose? Put it in a potato. Yeah. <laughs> you cut the head off when it dies. Put it in a potato. Plant it. Rose bush. That's all right. I'm starting to get used to it. Think I'll survive. I met you in the summer when you left. It was cold. Said we loved one another. Guess that we. This material, right, it's a roll, it's like nearly 30 metres because the curtains in our house are massive so we needed to get loads and loads of material for them. That should have cost 70 or 80 pounds per metre, 29 metres. That's like over 2,000 pounds and I just got it for 213. Oh, nice. Actually the best. Shona decided to take me the scenic route. Yes. And it's beautiful. I loved it, we've had the loveliest day, lunch was so good. What was the place we were called? Glogeburn. Glogeburn, what a name. <laughs> what a name, but Glogeburn. And it's just a really cute farm, cafe, honestly, the, the, the closest thing I could say it was like, it's somewhere in like Malibu or something, it was super bougie. And the farm shop was amazing, it had so many nice things in it, so I got me and Jackson and stuff for dinner tonight, and I got a rose bush. I need to Google how to plant it, and I need to Google what utensils I need. I need a shovel yeah. and a rake <laughs> and a trowel. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> I need a shovel, a rake, a trowel, and do you need rose feed? Does that actually help? It's kind of like baby powder. Yeah. It's exactly the one that we saw when we walked in and I went back and I snatched it. And then a man tried to take it off me. He, he said um, that he saw it first. And how, how old do you think he was? 55, 60, and he was like, um, when did you when did you see that rose? And um, we were like, well, we've had lunch already. 
And I thought he, I thought he was kind of, he was kind of kidding, but kind of not kidding in that way. Passive aggressive. Passive, exactly, passive aggressive. And he was trying to steal my rose bush off me. <gasps> wow. Great. I'm not being funny. That looks like Tuscany. Look at that. Gorgeous. Oh, precious. Mrs. Dightfoot. Jim! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Eating mess. Like this. Fold. Oh yeah. Is that it? I'm making a mess around that. She's making me a pie. <laughs> You're a pie. <laughs> Ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> so appetizing. Oh, you got my bit. Oh, oh nice Whoa. one. Oh, that looks really delicious. That looks so good. Mm. Gourmet. Hello. I'm still really sick. I feel terrible. I just sweated. I'm trying to see your corner off because I don't hurt my eyes. I sweated all night last night when I was trying to sleep and my sinuses are burning. Burning. So I just drove into town and even though I feel sick, it's quite an exciting day. I am having lunch with my dress designer for me and Jack's wedding. And she's called Anna and she's the absolute best and she works at Eleganza. Well, well she is Eleganza, which is a really gorgeous wedding dress shop in Glasgow City Centre. 20 minutes early, so I'm just going to walk around to Eleganza, get her, and then we're going for a spot of lunch. And then I'm driving down to the Bell Farm for Botox top ups because my head is wrinkly. So that's what's happening today. I just wish I wasn't feeling bad and I honestly look puffy as anything. I've still managed to get all the work done that I needed to do but I've just, I just like, I'm so excited for a weekend in the house. I'm going to clean, I'm going to tidy. I say that every flipping week, don't I? Meeting is done, couldn't obviously talk to you about that because it's a secret till next year. But um, now with Laura, there she is. Hi. Stunning Laura. And we're gonna sort out all this wiggly face nonsense. I actually look like a crap warmed up today. I cannot wait to go home and hibernate with my new smooth face. What is that? I'm so excited for this. Relax. So what me and Laura are doing, we're doing Botox up here, eyes, and in between my eyebrows, like the normal one, just to smooth everything out and make me look, you know, do you know what it is? I'm 25 in this month. I feel about 55. And then we're putting a wee bit of Botox in my, as you call the masseter. And that's the muscle and it just stops you from being able to clench your teeth as hard. Yeah, stops you grinding. Stops you grinding your teeth, which I do in my sleep. And that's why I had to get like all my teeth built up. And it also kind of slims your face down as well because you're not using that muscle as much, is that right? Yep. First we Mm-hmm. Good girl. Do you know how I deal with the pain? Even though it's not that much, I wiggle my toes. Do you do that? No. So I scream. Do you scream? Oh yeah, I'm a big baby. <laughs> You're so mm -hmm. true. Baby stings. Oh, I'm so excited to be smooth and youthful. Relax. My clients are boob to squeeze. Is this the same boob I've got? I'm just gonna sit here and squeeze a boob for the pain. <laughs> that helps. It's okay. Look at my boob. <laughs> morning. It's not morning, it's afternoon. <laughs> I slept in. I still feel a bit sick. I woke up this morning feeling just like I was coughing up stuff. It was nasty. But I think that it might be on its way out. I think so. I think I'm going to be fine by, by Monday. Today is Saturday. It is gorgeous outside and I am going to be inside. And let me show you why. Last week, I showed you this. This has got better. So all of this stuff 
some of it's used, some of it's not, so it's all, it's all getting given away. But in here is just a mess. Like, what on earth? Like, this is what I've been getting ready in every day. This is crazy. This is crazy. So, I've got some more boxes in here. All this stuff is great. All this stuff is sorted. Office area is also a mess. Even, like, up here is a mess. Like, I've got money there. It's probably going to get put in the bin by accident. It's an absolute joke. And my amazing illustrations by Evie Stella. I'm going to put her link just bing, 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 right here. She is the best. I absolutely love that these um, illustrations she's done of me, so I got them framed. So when I'm an old lady, I'll be like, that's your granny. <laughs> she was fly as hell. So today I, like, I am in my Me Brother t-shirt from Vegas. I have no trousers on. And I'm going to be in here organising all day. It's going to be great. I'm going to finish this room because for someone that's let it get in this state, I am a firm believer that your surroundings massively impact your mood. And if your surroundings look like this, then your head's going to feel like that. A mess. An absolute mess. So that's what I'm going to do today. Very exciting post I put on Instagram yesterday. I timed it so I can tell you guys in this week's vlog um, so you guys know. But if you head over to my Instagram, which is just Jamie Genevieve, I'll put a link in the description bar below. You are in with a chance of winning a thousand pounds worth of makeup. There's a little like um, giveaway I'm doing. So if you look for the photo with the giveaway picture, you can enter the giveaway. It's going to be up until Friday. So this is going up on Sunday. You've got till Friday. And this doesn't look like much, but in here is a thousand pounds worth of makeup. And it is just full of goodies. Loads of my favorite products, loads of highlighting stuff. You've got like brushes, a mirror, lipsticks, everything. Three bin bags later, and we have a somewhat acceptable room. So I think the biggest mess was like around here and behind this desk and on the floor here and also on top of here, which is all sorted now. So it's much better. I cleaned up my desk as well. I have made a vow to myself to not make this messy ever again. And we've just kind of tidied up everything. These boxes are all good. Eventually I'm going to have to go through them again and I think I'm just going to have to go through them every couple of months and just scale down and replace things and get rid of stuff and all that. These are the three boxes I need to go through. I need to sort into keep, give away and put in the bin because there's a mix of old and new stuff in there which is a bit of a nightmare but at least it's easier to sort now. And now, oh, that's so nice. That is loads of acrylic storage that I am going to be using like this if I show you. Like the way that these are all kind of organised is in these little acrylic storage. I think they'll be really good for like glitters and single shadows. Things like this is difficult because this is all but some lip liners, right? Which I like. But realistically, will I ever wear this colour? No, I hate pink. So I think I need to actually start going through my collection that I've kept. So that's the kind of thing I need to sort out now. But this is looking way better. Ah, oh, thank goodness. I just dribbled. Ah, I need to go in the bin. Such a wee idiot. Does he not come for lunch with me? Hello, it's me. I am not well. I am going to fucking silver birch with my granny today. When I'm hungover, I get an absolute bollocking and I get forced to do things. That's not true. Ah, yeah, it is. I get made. I just leave you to it. You make me go out. You make me do things. You're mean. You make. Do you me really feel... think this is what we're listening to right now? You make me feel guilty. I was drinking the day before, and then when you are hungover. It's a different kettle of fish. Jack shot. You want to be like a princess. That fly. Oh my god, there's two. Three, four. Dashboard. Excuse me, I was just. <laughs> it only counts if you see a nipple. Focus, you bitch. I'm gonna eat this healthy. Oh! Chris, you fly! Hello. <laughs> eat that. Yummy. <laughs>